Hi, this is Jay with the Specialty Products Group. I'm going to introduce you to our tabletop version of cement stabilized modified soil with our product Paperlock SCS 120. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using Clay County soil. I live in Kansas City, Missouri, and let me tell you, this is clay, and clay is one of the most difficult soils to try to get to tighten up. So what I've got here, everyone, is four cups of water, but I'm going to put three cups in, and then two cups of this Clay County soil, and I'm going to make a slurry. Now I'm going to add a full cup of Portland cement, get this stirred up, now I've got one more cup of water. So, there will be an explanation here momentarily about how this really works after I get this second cup stirred up. So let's get this poured in here so we can show you what I'm talking about. So I'm talking about a straight mud slurry and what it takes to try to stabilize it. So on this side, I'm going to put in three cups of water. Messy. <laughs> two cups of dirt, and make the same mud slurry I made as over here. I want this to be completely liquefied. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the Portland cement. Get this in a slurry. And now I'm going to add our Vaporlock SCS 120. The typical way people stabilize soil is to have a, a geotechnical firm come out, analyze your soil by drilling test holes all around your property. Then they analyze it and tell you its contents. They're looking for the moisture of it. They're looking for the other um, chemicals in it, salt, sand, clay, um, aluminum, nickel. Then they make a recommendation on how much cementitious content to spread on the surface before you till it in with a machine called a reclaimer. Now this soil has been modified with cement. The typical rule of thumb after they analyze a yard of this dirt is 6% of the weight of a yard of this dirt and that's how much Portland cement or lime kiln dust you should spread on the surface. After you've done that, now you've got your what the old school method is like this. Just by reducing the cementitious content 33% and adding our Vaporlock SCS120, you're already seeing the difference in what we're talking about. On this side, for a secondary haul road, you're typically going to use an inch and a half to inch and three quarter gravel four inches deep. That costs about $250,000 per mile. On our side, now that we've completely waterproofed this base, all we require is two inches of three-quarter crusher run. Now, that only costs around $150,000 per mile. With this system, you're going to save a minimum of $50,000 per mile, and we're helping with environmental compliance. We're reducing airborne particulates, uh, reduction of cementitious content, and your carbon footprint. Now you have a waterproof, dustproof road that you will not have to drive a water truck up and down and with substantial savings per project. Please give us a call. Let us discuss what your upcoming projects are. Thank you very much.